Welcome back to my second part of the most common questions that I've received when helping you guys out with Pocket Mind. So let's get right into it. So yo yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. It is me, your boy Techno T, and in today's video, this is the second part of our two-part series here of answering a few of the most common Pocket Mind questions that I've gotten when helping you guys out. So there are chapters in this video, so if you're actually here for a specific question, go ahead and check it out. You can skip around. There's also going to be in the comment comments as well as the description um, timestamps for you guys to go ahead and click around as well. Helps out for if you guys are here for a specific question. I've also done that for the very first answering questions for Pocketmine as well, so go ahead and check that out if you guys haven't. But anyway, let's get right into that very first question. Now... This is a great comment here because it kind of shows you where you're supposed to be looking. When you click on the friends tab, you should be able to see your server running on your local network. You should be able to see it there. If it does not appear there, that means that there is a problem with the device you're hosting it on or you're not connected to the same network as what your server is running on. Next question that I get is you're getting an error basically. And this is basically telling you you did not put in a PHP. So let's say I did not get this bin folder from our PHP that we just downloaded, and I try to run the server. It'll say PHP is not recognized as an internal or external command error. This is basically telling you you do not have a bin folder with the PHP. Now remember, I just showed you guys how to get the bin folder there, so you can rewind over there, but essentially, you literally just get this PHP 7.0 file from the Jenkins website that is up on PocketMine, and you literally just drag the bin folder to the root of your PocketMine server folder. And by doing that, we'll just let that thing copy over there, and we can just hit start. And as you can see, it starts working again. Now, if you guys are running into any issues, remember what I said you guys are going to need to download VC. That is gonna come in handy. That might actually also fix your uh, problem there as well. Another question, and this is a great one too, will this server be 24 seven? Think about it like this, right? If you run your PC 24 seven with the server open, it is gonna be 24 seven. However, if you shut off the PC or you stop the terminal, it's not going to be 24 7 it's going to be depending on when you're operating there so the cool thing about a pocket mine server is you can technically run it 24 7 although that's to have like a dedicated pc or a dedicated device just running your server 24 7. if you do not have pocket mine running on your computer it's not going to be 24 7. usually what i recommend doing is just dedicating a PC that's just always on like a family computer and just have that run the server in the background as it's going on and this is also a good question, guys. If you guys watch the PocketBind video, you guys know that I recommended using no IP for your IP addresses. Now, a lot of people give me this question saying, hey, will it expire? Actually, it won't expire. So the thing is about no IP is once it's close to your 30 days, you want to confirm that you're still an active user. So literally, you log in, and then right next to your IP, it'll say expires in, and then it'll give you the number of days. Usually it's around like three or three or two days before the actual IP expires. And then it'll ask you to confirm. Once you confirm, it'll basically be good for another 30 days. Now this one is interesting because uh, I got this question on my PocketMind mobile video. Plugins aren't working. If this is on the PocketMind app, then I am afraid that is once again a developer-based issue. Um, if the plugins aren't working, then I would recommend clearing the cache, removing the app, uninstalling it, reinstalling it. If that fails to fix it, it is something wrong on the developer end, and that might be the issue there. A lot of people gave me this question is, how do I import maps into PocketMind? And a lot of people wanted to know how to add worlds. All you need to do to import worlds is right here in the PocketMind server folders right here. I'll have this open to the side, but you just want to head over here and then right here in your search bar, we're just going to go over to uh, Planet Minecraft. So once you're at Planet Minecraft, all you need to do is click on Maps. And then by clicking on Maps, all you need to do is just download a map of your choice. 
Now, it is important to note that these are technically all Java Edition maps. However, with PocketMine, it does do a conversion where it will convert those into Bedrock Worlds. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Keep in mind that this will not work for all maps. So if it does not work, then it's a map problem. And that map will not work. So for example, if I scroll down here and let's say I wanted, let's say I wanted uh, Stampy's Lovely World right here in my Minecraft server. So I'm just gonna click on download map and just go through the process. And once you have the world right here, we're just gonna drag it over here. We're just gonna right click, extract all, and we're just gonna extract as well. And then with that, we'll be getting the world right here. And it's just called Stampy's Lovely World. We're just gonna rename this for the sake of importing it. I'll just call this a uh, test and then I'll just hit enter. And from there, you wanna just drag the world that you got into your PocketMind server right here into the worlds folder. So you're gonna drag test, which is the one that we just got into the worlds folder right here. And once you do that, you wanna go over. And then if you guys haven't already, you guys wanna head over to Pocket, which is going to be the official PocketMind plugin page. Link will be down in the video description below. And you wanna download the plugin known as Multi Worlds. Now this is actually a very useful plugin because it'll allow you to teleport between worlds, create custom worlds. It's basically a world management plugin. If you guys haven't seen the video on that, link will be up in the iCard above. It's very, very useful. I made a video about it last year. It was really useful. So right here, I have multiworlds.far. We're just gonna drag this into the plugins folder of our PocketMind server. So I'm just gonna move this to the side, go over to the plugins, and then we're gonna drag in multiworlds. Once you've dragged that into the plugins folder, we're just gonna do a start.cmd right here, and then it should load in multi-worlds, enabling multi-worlds, perfect. So once you've basically dragged in the world and got the multi-worlds plugin, I'm actually gonna work with this through the terminal because I have Minecraft, but it is on the same PC, so it isn't gonna work. But all you're going to need to do is in the terminal, type in mw list, and then it'll list out, hey, look, there's worlds, there's test, and then there's world. So all you're going to all you're going to need to do is just do mw load and then we're going to do test and then it'll load in the world and it's just called Stampy's Lovely World. And then once you get in the game just do slash mwtp and then the name of the world which in my case is called test. So yeah, that's how you basically get into other worlds and import them. Ah, and this is another very, very big question um, that I feel like needs to be answered. Um, why don't animals spawn in PocketMind servers? So guys, entities do not exist in PocketMind, but there is a workaround to it, and I'm going to be showing you that right now. This is a plugin called Pure Entity X. By the way, link in the video description below, or you can find it here on the Pocket page. But basically, it gives you that workaround. It basically will add animals and monsters to your world with regular movement and behavior, similar to the Minecraft default vanilla behavior and movement of all these mobs. And basically, this will return that functionality for you. Now, I'm also going to be showing you something else. I will have a video coming out about this very shortly, but I just wanted to allude to it. If you are just planning on making a vanilla server, no plugins, and you are just looking for just a regular vanilla bedrock server, then there is actually one provided directly by Mojang. It's actually the Windows server software for Windows, and then they also have one for Ubuntu as well. But basically, it's a vanilla Minecraft bedrock server that you can download directly from the Mojang website. This is directly from them, so basically this is for a pure vanilla server. But yeah, I just wanted to allude to that as well. If you guys were thinking about just making a vanilla server, this tends to make it easier because you don't need to worry about plugins. It basically works once you run it. And this is a question I thought I would never literally get. Okay, well, um, how do you make a flat world? I actually explain it in my uh, video right here. Slash MW because all the multi-worlds commands will start with slash MW and put space and we are going to create a world. So I'll do slash MW space create and then give it a name. So I'm going to call this Sky Wars. And then from there hit space and put in the seed. So I want this to be a super flat world because I'm going to make this a Sky Wars lobby zero and then put a space and give the generator type since i want it to be a flat world i will put flat and once you have this written out with the name the seed over here the generator type over here hit enter 
and as you can see it is generating the world now since you have created your world you want to teleport to it so it's really easy do slash mwtp and then the name of what you put your world so since mine was sky wars i will type in sky wars and it'll teleport me to a super flat world that i have created for my sky wars lobby and that's pretty much how you create a flat world so it's all explained in the multi worlds video i don't know if you watch that but uh <laughs> either way it's all good so yeah that's pretty much that guys those are some of the really big common issues with pocket mind that i get asked a lot that i wanted to clear up for you all today so i hope you guys have a fantastic day remember guys stay fierce and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out guys